What's up guys, in this video we are going to react, or I'm going to react to this by Frank Tofano. No more carnivore diet after seven years. So I don't know if you guys have been following this. This is actually a month old, exactly a month old. <clears throat> Frank Tofano, famous carnivore diet promoter, I guess. All about the carnivore diet and apparently he is no longer a carnivore. So we're going to watch this and react to it. If you guys have any other recommendations for types of videos you want me to do, reaction, not reaction, whatever, let me know in the comments section. Excuse me. Here we go. Now that I think about it, it's kind of crazy that I've been following a diet ever since I started bodybuilding when I was 14, 15 years old. I've always been super strict with my eating regimen. And up until now, I've never met one person as disciplined as myself. So when I see these vegans, carnivores claiming to be on their diet, I know they're cheating, they're deviating, whatever it may be. I've always prided myself in being honest and transparent, but does it really mean much when everyone on social media lies? When you only have to pop in front of a camera or take a quick Instagram post, you know, people aren't seeing what you're doing with most of your personal life. How many times has a vegan been caught eating fish? How many times have those vegans admitted to eating fish months prior to their no longer vegan videos? That being said, I guess I'm the first ex-carnivore, at least someone that's actually followed the diet strictly for a long period of time. And the reason for that could be that all of these other carnivores, just like vegans, are making money because of their carnivore personality. And you know, those carnivore celebrities are known for liking a little bit more than just a steak at the pub, but they try to maintain the illusion that they chow down solely on good old Angus Brown. Bye, -bye. Hopefully this is the last video I have to bring up any of the negativity associated with the carnivores, carnivores, clownivores, baldivores, whatever you may call them. I started the carnivore diet back in 2012, coinciding with my health journey. I had severely damaged digestion from Accutane, and although I didn't attribute it to Accutane at the time, I thought it was because I was eating so much food with the bodybuilding, I was literally Googling how to be healthy. You know, I came across several books, and after reading those, I started with a base diet from my understanding of that literature, and then over the course of three, four years, I developed my own dietary ideas through experiments and further research. You know, four years of following a carnivore type diet, four years of researching before I was even comfortable putting myself in front of a camera to share my dietary information. I did feel much better eating only animal foods. My digestion improved. I had consistent energy levels. It definitely took that. <sighs> um, what's up with these other carnivores? What's their problem? They're, they're, they have more than a steak at the pub. What was the, I don't really get that reference. Anybody who keeps up on this drama, can you let me know? I don't really care, but that's the most interesting thing about this video, to be honest with you. Um, so fun, funny story, I guess, that has nothing to do with Frank Tefano. On a whim, the other day, I decided to post a link to my video about the carnivore diet or about why I quit the lion diet after three days. <laughs> Here we go. I posted it to a bunch of carnivore groups because I'm a member of some of these carnivore groups on um, on Facebook. I joined them like, I don't know, fucking two years ago almost, or a year ago? What was I in Thailand? Two years ago. I don't even remember. Anyway, <clears throat> I joined them because I wanted to fucking spam my videos there where I was eating fucking, you know, whatever the fuck I was eating there. Um, doing the snake diet, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, look at all these comments, right? Anyway, I posted this. I wrote, I'm not a hardcore carnivore like many of you, but I do recommend people at the bulk of, oh, oh, that's supposed to be eat. Eat the bulk of their cows from meat and eggs. Tried eating all beef like Michael and Jordan Peterson. Couldn't make it past a few days posting here in case any of you are interested in my experience. On a whim, I decided to post this. I was just like, well, I just made this video. You know, this was, when was this, three days ago? I was like, eh, might as well, let, let's post it there. Let's see if I get any views. I don't know, fucking who knows, right? 80 comments here. 80 comments. This is just one of the groups. And these people pretty much, I would say a good 95% of these comments are all like, this one I think is fairly nice. Uh, th this is fairly civil. We're all civil or we're all different. Three days isn't enough. You should try for longer, right? Th this is nice. You know, everybody else is like, fuck you. You're a fucking loser. I mean, not in so many words, but Anyway, the point is that the carnivore community, these are some toxic people. These are really toxic people, surprisingly. Like, if you say anything other than like, carnivore is the most amazing thing ever in the world. I love it so much. I love, you know, fucking pig pork tail, fucking 
beef testicle, whatever the fuck, like anything that's meat. If you say like, hey guys, I ate an apple the other day, I really liked it. They're like, oh my God, apples are so bad for you. We're blocking you from the group. Not really. But anyway, the point is that these are some toxic individuals. It's so crazy to me how how polarized these people get. And to be honest with you, I don't blame this guy for fucking leaving this fucking stupid ass community. Like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Okay, you like eating meat. I get it. Good for you, you know? Is it really such a big deal to you if somebody doesn't want to eat meat anymore? Um, anyway, I don't know. I just thought of that when he was talking about all the drama and like all these other carnivore diet celebrities, as it were. Anyway, let's... Uh, comfortable putting myself in front of a camera to share my dietary information. I did feel much better eating only animal foods. My digestion improved. I had consistent energy levels. It definitely took that experimenting with macronutrients, food cooking temperatures to get things right. But I felt like I developed a template that would work for anyone. And guys, that experimenting I did was a bit of an understatement. I was fortunate enough to know that grass fed high quality was important when I started the diet. However, you know, there were times where I almost had rabbit starvation. I wasn't sure what I was doing starting off. Uh, but at that time, when I started, I came across various carnivore diet forums, zero carb communities. The diet that existed many years ago in the pure form of eating just meat, whether it be beef, pork, or chicken. But the point was to consume zero carbohydrates. So a lot of the carnivore foods that people are eating now, even like heavy cream or liver, wouldn't have been allowed because they typically had carbohydrates. Uh, so despite my diet being carnivore, at the time, the interpretation of the carnivore diet was actually a zero carb diet. It was very different. And since I felt like I was following an animal based keto diet or a paleo keto diet, like true paleo, I felt like my diet didn't really have any categorization. And when I did decide to start YouTube in 2016, I didn't identify with any of those dietary communities. I was just kind of doing my own thing. And over the first two years of my YouTube channel, you know, my message was loosely about eating animal foods, nutrient density. But when the carnivore diet showed up on the Joe Rogan podcast in December of 2017 in the form of corn faker, you know, I figured it might be a good opportunity to explain to the carnivore community, you know, the importance of organ meats, nutrient density, macronutrient ratios, you know, it's more than just eating meat. But I was largely ignored, you know, so much to the point that I was upset and I ended up deleting all my YouTube videos back in June 2018. Of course, that was a mistake. And I still deeply regret deleting all of that content because, you know, you can't remember everything. You can't recreate everything, the hundreds of hours that went into making the videos, as well as the thousands of hours of additional research. But, you know, at that point in 2018, when I kept doing YouTube, I did strive to recreate as much of that content as possible, and I think I've done that. I think I've added forms of that updated information with better production quality, and of course it paid off. You know, I was able to sort of squeeze my way into the carnivore diet space, you know, despite never really considering my dietary habits to be that version of the carnivore diet, you know, eat meat, drink water. And because I did that, my channel grew with the influx of people wanting to try the carnivore diet. You know, I went from just a few thousand subscribers to dozens of thousands. And after, you know, a couple more years of beating nutrient density and macronutrient ratios into the carnivore community, it still hasn't really stuck. They're just telling people to eat more meat. And it's very obviously a cult, very obviously special interest funded at this point to just sell feed lot meat. But at least some of the ideas I'm talking about are still being recognized as a type of carnivore diet. You know, so I feel I contributed to it somewhat. And you know, despite most of my ideas being stolen to sell products, you, know, you do have people talking about that improved grass and meat quality, organ meats, even mentioning things like vitamin D3 and digestive enzymes. With that growth, with that ability of me to share my ideas with a larger platform did come negativity uh, in the form of vegans that I was speaking out against as well as carnivores. Oh my God, fucking, I can't remember. I, used to, I, I can't believe I used to watch all these fucking dramatic ass videos and like <clears throat> have opinions on them. Anyway, back to, back to me. Uh, when I posted on this, all these people that fucking like, cause I would occasionally I would get somebody who like would really be a dick. Like this lady, for example, lol, so useless. So you don't know that changes have to take place slowly. I stayed carnivore with veg and reduced slowly over a month. Like one of the reasons why I am kind of like if, if I were to have, I have many superpowers, not going to lie. I'm a pretty fucking talented individual. One of my talents is not really giving a shit about mean comments about me online. Um, and the reason for that is because anytime somebody leaves a mean comment, I always look to see who that person is. And this, I just grabbed this random one, for example. Like, who is this lady? Some fucking grandma from fucking who the fuck knows where. Um, can I look at her profile? I don't, don't, please don't blow her up, by the way. That's not why I'm saying this. Like, don't send this lady any mean messages. I randomly picked her. I could give a fuck about her. Don't, like, I know nobody's going to watch this anyway. <clears throat> but, uh, like, who is this lady? Look at this. Do I care what this fucking lady thinks? 
No, I don't. I'm sure she's very nice, but like, this is not the type of person I want to ever take any sort of health advice from ever. You know, she's a fucking, no offense to her, I'm sure she's very nice, like, I'm sure she's a great person. If I met her, I'd be really nice to her. But she's some fucking old grandma who lives in Spain. Like, who the fuck cares what she thinks about the fact that I tried the carn or I tried Michaela Peterson's lion diet and I didn't like it. And she called me, what, well, she called me useless. Oh, no, she called me useless. And there's dozens of comments like this. I don't give a fuck about any of them because I haven't, I mean, I've checked some of them. I think this guy was actually cool. Mike Barnes. I think he was jacked, wasn't he? Or did I imagine that? Maybe I imagined that. I might have imagined it. No photos of this guy? See all photos? Anyway, never mind. Anyway, I feel like one of these guys was like fit and in shape, but like most of them are not. Most of them are fucking losers, really. Most most people in general are losers, uh, statistically speaking. So like, do I give a fuck what these fucking people think? Like, thanks Anderton, left a pretty clever comment here. 27 people had a had a fucking response about it. You know, I guess this guy at least is younger, so more of a chance. Oh my God, I almost added him. An immortal being being mortal. Hmm. Where's this guy from? Freestyle commenter. Uh, oh, he's pretty fit. I still don't fucking care what he thinks though. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't bother me at all. Do not care. Um, but this guy has, he's just, he's just a weird guy. Frank Tafano. He's a fucking weird dude. He looks weird. You know what I mean? No offense, Frank, if you ever watch this, but like, he's he's an interesting looking, His he just looks weird. You know what I mean? So it's easier to pick on him. And he's also like, I don't know anything about him, but you get kind of this vibe that he's like a sensitive, sweet, nice person who wants to be loved. You know what I mean? Obviously, you deal with all this hate from fucking YouTube because YouTube commenters are fucking. Some of them are just, <laughs> I don't know, they're just fucking weirdos. But um, they just don't hold back, you know. I, I've I've left mean comments for people also. I, you know, you just something about the forum or the uh, the fucking format. I don't know. I can't think of the word. Or because I exposed their special interest funding, and I mean that would have never happened if that clown never copied and plagiarized my information because. The only reason I started looking into the special interest funding was because it didn't make sense that they were defending someone that was plagiarizing someone else. You know, it was just a weird spot for me to be in. I was basically following a diet before it was truly established on social information because the only reason I wanted to share my ideas with a larger platform did come negativity uh, in the form of vegans that I was speaking out against as well as carnivores because I exposed their special interest funding. And I mean, that would have never happened if that clown never copied and plagiarized my information because the only reason I started looking into the special interest funding was because it didn't make sense that they were defending someone that was plagiarizing someone else. You know, it was just a weird spot for me to be in. I was basically following a diet before it was truly established on social media. So I had all of this information to share to establish myself as a leader, whereas normally the leaders would just be propped up shills that had connections. And that's still largely the case in any industry. It's just unheard of for an outsider like myself to sneak in without being part of the club. You know, imagine in the context of the vegan community. You know, someone like Medical Medium comes along with his celery juice madness, and everyone starts chugging down celery juice in the morning, but they don't mention his name. You know, that's kind of like what would happen to me. Except what I brought the carnivore community would be like Medical Medium discovering blenders or inventing the blender, something revolutionary for vegans, and then they don't give me credit for inventing the blender. That negativity and those horrible interactions with the carnivore community, you know, manifested itself in a way against my health. You know, the reason I'm saying I was carnivore for seven years, despite me being at the eight year mark right now, is that my health has been so poor at times in these past two years that I couldn't even adhere to the diet without getting incredibly sick. And I suffered for a long time, guys. You know, when I came back after auditioning for MasterChef all the way back in early 2018, you know, I was never the same. I took so much Tylenol and Advil on that show out there because I wasn't sleeping. You know, I damaged my liver and then it couldn't handle the carnivore diet anymore, all of the iron. I had insomnia, heart palpitations, poor sleep up until now, basically. And things have been getting better uh, since I discovered what my issue was earlier this year, uh, basically liver dysfunction from a heavily imbalanced diet. And those initial symptoms of histamine intolerance, severe, severe gut autoimmune reactions, uh, when ignored, lead to your liver becoming damaged. And I've done several videos explaining iron overload, how to prevent it on a carnivore diet. But at this point, in order to reverse the problem, I simply need to eat plant foods, carbohydrates, starches, 
sugars, glucose, fructose, fiber, insoluble, soluble, all play important roles in digestive health that might have prevented the issue from happening in the first place. That and those plant foods contain minerals that are lacking from most animal foods in proper ratios. To loosely summarize what I've been doing the past few months, I tried sticking... Um, interesting. I don't know about that information regarding the minerals that plants have. What minerals are these exactly? Um... You know, good for him, whatever. Uh, but like, yeah, man, all these fucking group, all these like fad diets are so stupid, bro. Like, why don't you just eat, you know, just eat the natural foods. Like, yeah, you got to eat meat. I'm so sick of saying it. Like, okay, fine. You want to eat some vegetables, eat some vegetables. But most vegetables are kind of useless. They're just, it's like water, fiber, and it's like to fill you up. It's like, it's placeholder food, I call it. Um, I do like, I like my oatmeal. I definitely, I'm, I'm addicted to oatmeal lately, really, especially since I've been running as much as I have been. Um, because I can't really, I tried running on an empty stomach the other day and I always like, I'm hardcore OMAD guy. You know, I used to fucking train, do everything on an empty stomach. <clears throat> I skipped my breakfast the other day, which is basically a little bit of oatmeal and two egg yolks. And I tried to do my run and I was able to do it because I, you know, powered through it, but it was much harder. And the whole day was just kind of really hard until, you know, I, I went to work and I just had some rice. I was fucking dying. So I was like, all right, fuck it. What can I eat? Just went and got some steamed rice and just ate it. And then the rest of the day was great. Oh, well, you're addicted to carbs, blah, blah, blah. Like, fine, I'm addicted to carbs, but I'm fucking healthier than you. So, you know, deal with the fucking Facebook people. Um... Yeah, man, this fucking carnivore diet shit is retarded, dude. Like, you can, what's what's wrong with eating a variety of foods? I had somebody comment on my channel the other day. You know, I made a couple of vlogs where I was eating raw meat, right? And and somebody, you know, a bunch of people commented like, "Oh my god, I can't believe you're eating that." Like, don't aren't you worried about the fucking poison or what was it, salmonella or something? And I said, "No, I'm not worried about it at all. Never gotten sick from eating raw meat. I fucking love it. You should try it." <clears throat> and the same guy or one of these guys commented on you know, a couple of my videos and he wrote me, he's like, Oh my God, I just tried raw meat. It actually tastes pretty good. It's amazing. Wow. I have so much energy. Thank you so much. I was like, okay, man, cool. Good for you. Good job. And then in one of my later videos, a couple days later, I made, you know, the oatmeal and egg pancakes. And I just like, I ate a bunch of oatmeal that day or something. And he's like, Oh my God, I can't believe you talk about eating raw meat. And now you're eating oatmeal. Ah, I've, I've un, I'm, you know, unsubbed. Right. And I'm just like, Bro, are, are you fucking retarded? Like you, you base so much of your opinion on somebody on the foods that they eat, really? That's how you're basing your opinion on somebody? Like you are actually, it's shocking to me that people are so stupid, really. It's, I'm shocked, I'm, I don't understand it. It's, I don't even know, whatever. Anyway, let's finish this fucking shit. It's a carnivore with the honey glucose on and off, but just felt much better with the increased gut mobility from higher volume plant foods. Uh, most recently, uh, in the past month, I've switched gears to consuming a large amount of my caloric energy from carbohydrates like potatoes, pasta, some fruit. I still eat a ton of meat, over two pounds in the form of grass-fed beef. It's just that my energy intake has shifted from animal fat more to plant foods. And I am a little worried about sharing my new diet, talking about specific foods, and I really don't want to explain why I'm eating certain foods, largely because of the fear of the plagiarism that's been going on with my channel in the form of all these other carnivores, especially one in particular, you know, who knows if they're going to start doing the same exact stuff as me, or they'll even get some other clown shill to pop up out of the woodwork following my new diet. Very possible, very likely. You know, there's always money to be made. You know, someone's going to pop up with a whole food sponsorship after I eat potatoes, talking about how good potatoes are for you. And I would really like to do a video this week highlighting the foods I've been eating, as well as a whiteboard video explaining the downsides of the carnivore diet, specifically why I stopped. But again, I'm kind of reluctant as it would basically give the template for all of these other carnivores, baldivores, carnivores, whatever the hell you want to call them, these grifting clowns to jump ship along with me. Whereas in reality, these carnivores probably never actually went a day without sucking down a mug of coffee and they were deviating from their diet because, you know, why am I the only carnivore, you know, social media personality that has had these health issues? I've had dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of people email me clients that I've helped correct issues they've developed from a carnivore diet, but for some reason, these influencers aren't having the issue. And if they've truly been following a carnivore diet for years and years and years, they would have already developed severe, severe nutrient imbalances that would have destroyed their health. Uh, so since I have always promoted certain plant foods, you know, the same can't be said of these other carnivores. You, know, you would think 
they would receive a lot of backlash. So maybe they will stick to being carnivore, almost in like a no longer vegan sort of fashion. Although I can't imagine the carnivore followers being as dogmatic. You know, I have videos of me making sourdough bread two years ago, intermittently, at least every month until I talk about plant foods. But, you know, since I really do set the stage for everything carnivore, especially on YouTube, you know, I suspect a lot of people to just grift off of whatever I do without any actual understanding about why I'm doing it, as they have for the past few years. But, since I don't have dozens of videos of my new diet on my channel, they won't have anything to go on. So I think we're good for at least a few months, boys. Yeah. Uh, so I don't, I don't get it. Like the, the, I, so he's saying basically I came up with these ideas first because this was kind of his problem in the beginning of the video where like he came up with these ideas about what to eat and then people copied him. He's calling it plagiarism. Um, I don't think that's what that word means. Like copying somebody's idea is not plagiarizing them. That's not what plagiarism is. Plagiarism is is that what plagiar plagiarism is? What is that? What is the actual definition? Plagiarism definition. The practice of taking someone else's work and passing them off as one's own. <laughs> Similar copying. Uh, yeah. Whoops. Well, look at this. this. Guy's got a duck. Um, I guess technically, if Frank Tafano says like. Hey guys, I like liver also. And some other carnivore person says, Oh wow, yeah, like liver's really good for you guys. I eat it too. Is that stealing his idea? I mean it's a bit of a stretch. It's a bit of a stretch. Cause it's not like it's not like he invented liver, you know what I mean? It's not like he's the first guy to be like, Oh yeah, guys, liver's really good. Whoa, really? Thanks, Frank. Like we never knew that. Uh, so for him to say, like, <laughs> I eat mostly meat and I have potatoes too, like, oh, well, you know, let's, let's write that one down, guys. You know, Frank said it, like, I think that's a little delusional. Um, am I wrong? Does that, does anybody follow this fucking drama and you can correct me, please? Because I do not see how that is, uh, like worth worrying about in any way at all. Like, if anything, you should promote your ideas and talk about why you're doing things so that you gain notoriety for, you know, telling people to do those things really is, is what I think you should do. You know, if I have a good idea and what, what is, what is the famous Steve Jobs quote? He said, uh, or maybe it's not Steve Jobs, but he's like, maybe it was Steve Jobs. Anyway, he's like, great, good, good artists copy, great artists steal, something like that. Or all, you know, fucking, I don't know. Quentin Tarantino also, he said he, his, his movies, when he makes a movie, he basically steals little bits from fucking hundreds of movies. Like every, you know how there's all this like weird shit in Quentin Tarantino movies? Like just these weird little like Easter egg things, weird little interactions between people. He just fucking steals all kinds of shit from other movies. Um, so like somebody stole your idea that fucking eating potatoes is good come on that's like i don't know it's a bit of a stretch and, and i don't really care honestly if you know, people are going to copy me over and over again it's so blatantly obvious i don't think they're going to ever really get anywhere with it. so thank you guys for joining me today uh, you can go to frank to see everything frankie's strange meat frankie's naturals uh, reach out um <coughs> what is frankie's naturals is that a link no um okay that was interesting not really at all, but um, kind of. What is Frankie's Naturals? Oh, is that natural hygiene products? Hmm. Natural clay shampoo. Any deodorant? Oh, he's got deodorant. I've always been I've I've been looking for natural deodorant because that shit is fucking disgusting. Ten dollars. Shea butter, arrowroot, starch, lemongrass oil. Huh. I'm not gonna buy it. Well, maybe if it's on Amazon, I'll try it out. Cause I do need a natural deodorant. I'm using this right now. Old Spice ingredients. Yikes. Haven't been using it lately, so you know, cancer will get me slower. Anyway, does anybody even care about this? I kind of just made it on a whim. Uh, do you have any other videos you want me to watch and comment on? If you do, let me know in a comment down below. Peace.